If we're traveling to Rottenbaum Village, we have a decision to make here. From this point, we can travel south through Klein Village, or turn towards Starkburg, then head southwest to Rottenbaum. I'm voting for the short route! Actually, I'm not certain which is the shorter distance. If there's no clear way that's better, I'd like to travel via Starkburg, if you don't mind. I have no reason to deny that request. Is there any special purpose for it? I just wanted to stop by my home. I hadn't expected to receive such a large assignment so soon. I wanted to tell my family that I wouldn't be seeing them for some time. <laughs> right on, Cece! Let's do it! Cece! I suppose you think that's cute, but I assure you that I do not. Uh, but it's just easier than saying Charlone. You have such a long name. Then I shall just begin referring to you as Runt. It's much easier, don't you think? Oh great, what do I do? Is this really that important, Hans? Uh, not really. It wasn't a big deal to begin with. Cece, Charlo, what does it matter? She made a big deal out of it. <gasps> I didn't know such thing. You were trying to get a reaction. I was not. I just wanted a name that was easier to use. Really? Well, does it make that much difference, Captain? Great. Just when I thought I was out of this. Who? Uh, me? Yes. What is your honest opinion? Does it make a difference? Well, in a very urgent or hectic battle situation, yes, it might make a difference. For example, the minister's name is Maximilian, but I began using Max when we were in the academy together. It was simply easier. Well, I can see how that would be true for a name like Maximilian. Yeah! See? See? It does make a difference! <sighs> this is ridiculous and a waste of time. If it will get us moving, I'll accept Charlo. Thank you. You're something else. Say, uh, how about we make this a new beginning, eh, Charlo? Hm? Fine. A new start. Now then, can we please stop by my home in Starkburg on the way to Rottenbaum Village? Of course. This will only take a moment. Please wait here. Well, um... What is it? I was actually hoping to use the washroom. It's been a long trek. Oh, yes. Go down the hall and turn right. Then straight to the back and it's on your left. Thank you. Wow! Charlo's family is loaded! If I had known this, I would have been a lot nicer to her. Actually, I'm a bit surprised as well. I had no idea her family was wealthy. Now I get why she didn't like the shortened name. I don't think that's cool in these hoite-toite kind of families. Possibly. Hans, I'd love to debate the merits of short names in wealthy families, but I have urgent business to attend to. Why'd you tell me the long way to get to the washroom? This way would have been shorter. Hmm? What's that? I hear voices. It sounds like Charlone. But it's so lonely around here without you. Pietro, what are you talking about? Young boys should be able to get into all sorts of wonderful trouble without their big sisters around. But... You must understand that for me to receive an assignment like this so early is a great honor. If I work hard and prove myself worthy, I'm sure I can become an Imperial Knight. But you're a girl. Imperial Knights have always been men. 
Well, that used to be the case, until Julia Douglas became an Imperial Knight. It is possible now. I'm certain that it will not be easy, but I am prepared to try. No goal worth achieving is ever easy. Yeah, I guess you're right. But just know that even though you may miss me, I'll be away working to make our family proud. Don't get discouraged. You won't be ill forever, Pietro. Sir, it does not become a knight to eavesdrop. Ah, um, uh, I was looking for the way back from the washroom. Charlone's younger brother, Pietro, became ill when he was very young and has difficulty walking by himself. When the illness came, the doctors said he would not live past ten. We lost all hope in any future for him. However, Charlone never abandoned hope. Every day she came and told Pietro of the happenings in the outside world, and every day she gave him the hope he needed. I believe that the only reason Pietro lives today is because of his sister Charlone. I see. Recently, we've heard about an operation that can cure Pietro. So he'll be all right then? Perhaps, if he will submit. You see, the operation is said to be quite painful. Thus far, he has refused to do it. So, Charlone made a promise to him. She told him that if she became an Imperial Knight, he would have the operation. Oh. I trust that you shall keep this disclosure between us, however. Besides Pietro and Charlone, you and I are the only ones that know of this. Lord Claudius does not even know? Not yet. Though, I believe Charlone will approach him to ask for his assistance. We should go. Please remember our agreement. Certainly. Charlone, please do be careful. Don't worry, I will. Please take care of Pietro while I'm away. Of course, milady. I trust that you are in good company and wish you the best. Farewell. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>